have a good voice. Oh, thank you. You have an amazing voice. Thank you. You know, a lot of a lot of people right now are not singing, and we we were listening to you in rehearsal, and your voice is so amazing. I mean, we don't have people on our, our show that don't sing, but there are people, as you know, that right. aren't singing now. Uh, oh, thank you. And you have an incredible oh, voice. That's a very so, nice way to put it. That was yeah. very touchfully put. Yeah. Well. Yes. <laughs> but uh, but and congratulations on a Grammy thank th you. A nomination. Oh, yeah. Where were you when you found out? Um, actually, yesterday I was on the radio. I was on the radio with a. a um, this, to see, I'm already excited. I'm losing my words. See, yeah. I'm so excited. You should be excited. Yeah, I'm a dork. Okay, but um, I was on. I was on a radio interview, and my my manager looked at me, and she was like, she was like, you got nominated for a Grammy, and on on the no kidding in the interview, I was like, what? Like yeah. on the interview, they were yeah. like, "What kind of? Does she not do interviews? Does right. she not know what she's doing?" Cars are so, crashing on the yeah. freeway. They're like, "What's going yeah. on?" So it was actually cool. They got it documented. And oh, everything. that's, so that's kind of cool. That's great. Yeah. Now, um, so and because all this attention, I mean, obviously you've been singing for a long time, right? But American Idol is what got you all the Started, attention. Yeah. What were you doing before American Idol? Um, got waitressing as a telemarketer for a little bit, mm -hmm. which is a fun job. Mm -hmm. But I wasn't the mean kind we, of telemarketer. We've gone from hating you to loving you. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> no, no, no. But I wasn't the bad telemarketer. I was giving away free stuff. Uh huh. So that well, and then technically, once you got them into the comedy, because I was a cut toy just at a comedy club. Oh really? And then yeah, and so yeah. Where? And um, hyenas. It used to be called the Funny Bone mm. in Texas. Hyenas. Yeah, it's yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> but anyway, so I was a telemarketer for them to get people to come in. Uh huh. So it was actually free tickets, but the catch was is it's a two, two drink minimum. Uh huh. Yeah. Yeah. So we were kind of evil, kind of getting them right. in there, and then they had to spend money. Well, that's that's so. how they they get you. Yeah. yeah. Sure. Yeah. Hey, I have a dance move. Can I show you my dance move? I would love to see it. I was it. seeing yeah. Katie Couric getting the shoulders. Okay, y'all know the lawnmower? Do y'all know that one? No. Oh, okay, this is the lawnmower. Okay, this is the lawnmower. Okay, you push, and then you go, oh, wipe the sweat. Wipe the sweat. <laughs> <laughs> I, just, I just lost my entire fan base. Yeah. <laughs> I have, this is, this, this is, this is a lawnmower too, but it's the riding lawnmower. <laughs> So we had yeah. to push. Yeah. We had to push. Yeah. So so now you're uh, you're going on to do this world idol contest now. Yeah. Yeah. I'm doing this big world idol thing. Um, it's basically like American Idol, but on a bigger scale. And um, and who's just, who's all? Uh, who actually, are the people? It's like, it's like 11 different countries actually participating. I've met three other ones mm -hmm. from the other countries. Because actually, I don't think everybody knows this, but <clears throat> excuse me, I talk too fast and I don't ever breathe. And um, <laughs> anyway, so um, actually, um, it's a huge success in every country. It's like number one show everywhere. It's I, I bet it's fascinating. To I watch. know, but I didn't know that. And mm -hmm. then so when I started traveling, they were like, "Oh yeah, we have ours." And I was like, "What?" So you're gonna compete against the other countries yeah. and it's uh, Christmas Day. Yeah, I believe it's I believe it's Aaron Christmas Day, and it's like a two part thing. So it's that, and then um, the the other show is whenever they announce the results and everything. Right. But it's not so much about winning. No, it's more about you know it's world kind of everybody's getting to see you. On a Everybody gets scale. to see, and you're starting a world tour, right? Yes. All yes. right. Well, then people will see you, and yeah. and, and congratulations. Thank Good luck you. to you. You can log on to our website to buy a copy of Kelly's new CD. Thankful. Uh, we'll be right back. Our first guest is a three-time Grammy Award winner and is now the host of the Kelly Clarkson Show. Please welcome the one and only Kelly Clarkson. All oh, right. Hey, I'm Kelly. so short. I always get reminded. Hi, Ellen. What do you mean? You're touching the ground? I know, because I'm cheating with these bad boys. Yeah. Yeah. How tall are you? I love that you could just get called by Jennifer Lopez. <laughs> Yeah. That's so cool. She just called me up. You're just cool. That was sweet. That's probably because I texted her right away when I saw her movie and she was, she appreciated, maybe, I don't know why she. I can't maybe, wait to see it. It's really good. Man, I can't wait. It, and, and Constance Wu is amazing in it. And yeah. It's, it's really good. It's, awesome. It's fantastic. Um, so, hey, the talk show's doing very well. Congratulations. It did okay. Yeah. yeah. It was kind of funny because they, this morning, everybody told me, like, oh, it did this many points or whatever. And I was like, uh huh. Yeah. Because yeah. I don't understand ratings in television world. Right. So, you will. Yeah. I yeah. know, but I never, even in music, I never, my husband will tell you he's my manager, I don't ever pay attention to charts either. Right. So, I'm just not really that, I'm just going to do me and it'll work or it won't. Right. Yeah. Well, that's the best thing to do. Yeah. That's, you know, 
Because I also did not pay, at first, of course, the first year I really wanted to do well because I wanted to, to keep it going. After a while, I was like, you know, I know what I'm putting out there, I'm doing my best. And now, 17 years in, I really want to keep topping myself. So ratings are important to me. They weren't, oh my but now I want to. Well, I'm trying to be the you know, best opener ever. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> yeah you're I'm trying. You're, you're a great lead in. We are so very happy to have you as a lead in. I, I am, I'm nervous to open for you, but it's fine. Oh, I, I appreciate you opening. It's going to be for great. Me. I'm not a comedian. When you watch my show, uh, I'm no, not as funny. But uh, you're so, but you're so real and down to earth, and everything is just very natural for you. So I would Thank think. Thank you. And and what is the question? Because I know you have to do a lot of press. What's the question that you're getting asked the most? Oh well, um, why do you have a talk show? <laughs> no, That's not why do you have a talk show. No, it is. They're like, why do you have a talk show? Because everybody's like, well, aren't you working on a record? And I'm like, well, yeah. And they're like, aren't you doing the voice? And I'm like, well, yeah. And 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 I also doing this. Yeah. Why not? I don't know. You gotta matter till you don't, people. Yeah. <laughs> like, but, and I love talking, so. You do love talking. I do love talking, you know this. Is that why you wanted to do a talk show? Because you love talking? No, um, really I wanted to do the talk show. My husband ended up convincing me, because I actually said no the first couple times, because um, I was like, everybody's been drinking or getting high, this is a horrible idea. And then uh, he convinced me, because I, I really do love the fact that, there, there's a lot of negativity going on right now. I don't love that, but there's a lot of negativity happening, a lot of division happening. And one of my big things, even on tour, is to like bring people together. Like my audience is filled with random people that would probably never be in the same place. And I want my show to be like that. And he kind of sold me on the fact of all the good we'd be able to do and yep. inclusion and all of that. And so, and I love that about you. So that's why I love that I'm on before you. It is a wonderful thing to do. Yeah. yeah. Put some positivity into the world. Yeah. That's fantastic. Like good focus. Right. And I like, and, and people get a little concert because you start the show singing. Yes, so not my own songs, because that's fame. Right. Mm -hmm. <laughs> no, not really. I think people would love to sing along with you to your own songs, just like in concert. I'm sure they love that. We might randomly do that, like at points or something, maybe on Christmas or something, but like, I just feel like a tool, being like, come on, guys, sing my hits with me. Um, I'm not, no, I'm not going to do that. But I love singing other, uh, you love musicians, you love music, yeah. and so do I. And How do you pick the song you're going to sing? Someone from the audience picks it, and I learn it real fast. Like, I'm learning one backstage, because I have a show after this. <laughs> Wait, wait, wait. Someone from the audience decides yep. the song you're going to sing? Yep. Yep. And, and we d we've been doing it on tour for like 15 years. And then we thought, well, I thought, oh, this would be a great idea. Let's do it on the show. And it's a lot of work. <laughs> but, yeah. I, but I love, I genuinely love artists and I love music. I love celebrating art. And, um, and yeah, someone from the audience picks it and they have a reason why they picked it. And so it kind of connects the audience to me right off the bat. And they're kind of a co-host. So. But no, and so what, what happens if they pick something that is really difficult? Is it, ha, oh. Have you had a song that's hard to sing? Um, well, it's not necessarily that things are hard, it's just that they shouldn't happen. Um, <laughs> like me covering Eminem was pretty much the <laughs> <laughs> which, yeah. which Eminem song But did I you sing? challenge accepted. I yeah. can't, um, Eight Mile, the, you know, oh, Mom's yeah. Spaghetti. Da -da, yeah. yeah. Uh huh. Mm -hmm. That's the one. Yeah, I, I know it was Mom's so spaghetti. bad, but whatever. Challenge accepted. I'll sing anything. Uh -huh. And literally, we've done like country, like, like, we'll do anything. But, yeah, because yeah. the very first show, I surprised you, and, and you were doing the Jonas Brothers yes. song, I'm a Sucker for You. Yes, I love that and song. And that, you, you did that very well. Yeah, I was excited to see when a fan picked that one, because I love yeah, that one. Yeah, that's a good song. Yeah. All right, so anyway, so that's, that's fine. You were surprising me. You were yeah. so nice. You came by, and here's the thing. My audience freaked out to where I, when she left, I was like, come back. They were happier then. <laughs> like, they were so freaking out. Uh, you were so kind. And you brought me a beautiful painting yeah. that we are hanging in our studio. We what? had one wall. We had one wall for it. And it's that's where it, yep. But is it on the set? Or, no, or it's on the set. Is yeah. it backstage? We only had one empty wall. I'm telling you, seriously, everything is filled with like guitars or whatever. All right. And, yeah. I, I and your it, face. I need to see it there every day. Yeah. All right. With, with the pooch. All right, we're back with Kelly Clarkson. She has a new talk show, and we wanted to see how quick she is on her feet and how well she knows the people she might be interviewing this year. So it's time to play Hot Hands. Okay. You're going to see someone, and okay. you're going to say who they are and whatever you would ask them real quick. Just a quick question of an interview, and then mm -hmm. hit that. It'll move on. OK. First one. OK. Oh, Justin Timberlake. Oh, I would ask him um, to write me a song. Honestly, that's probably what I did. I, I love his writing. All right. I think he's so talented. Right, I ask him where enough. the trolley yep, came. Yep. And then, oh, he's good looking. Um, that's Thor. 
four. Oh, that's Chris Hemsworth. And I would just ask to come to the next superhero movie preview. And this is all about me. Hmm. That's what my show's about, apparently. No, um, I would ask him if there was anybody else up for Thor, just him. Okay, yep. And then uh, that's Drake. And I would I would probably ask him, like, are you high when you record every other song? Because <laughs> they're so chill. And I thought, maybe he's just getting high. Okay. Um, Jennifer Lopez. I would ask how on earth she gets that body at, at any age and, like, still maintains it. I hate her. Uh, um, I, oh, Miley Cyrus. Um, I, I'm excited, actually. She has a new CD coming out, so I'd ask her about her new music and her new, her new life and everything. Okay. And then I, mm-hmm. Uh, <laughs> I know this one. She's a princess. Meghan Markle. <laughs> Meghan Markle. Meghan Markle. Oh, she was on Suits. Actually, I love Suits. I don't know why she doesn't look like a Meghan to me. Maybe I'll ask her about that. Um, but I would ask, like, what are the stresses of being a princess? That's what I would ask. OK, Blake Shelton, why do you hate me? <laughs> I don't understand. I'm so nice. <laughs> Um, oh, Ariana Grande, girl can sing. I would probably ask her to sing with me, first of all. And then I would ask her how she keeps up with her schedule. She's got a crazy schedule. All right, the Kelly Carson Show airs weekdays on NBC. We'll be right back.